It's Family Fortunes. And tonight's families are the Meadows family from Peterborough. And they're playing the Plummer family from Wolverhampton. Now, please welcome your host, Les Dennis. Thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to the show. And once again, we have two families hoping to go all the way to big money with a chance of winning up to £5,000 and a choice of star prize. Either this top-of-the-range family saloon... Yes, it's state-of-the-art and comes complete with high-performance engine, air conditioning, ABS, central locking and lots more besides. And with this car, it all comes as standard. All this smashing holiday for up to 12 people. This week's Sun International Holiday is at the Sugar Beach Resort, situated on the wonderful west coast of Mauritius, close to one of the island's most beautiful beaches. It's the perfect place to relax. <laughs> Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name a device you look through. Pat. Binoculars. Binoculars. Yes, it's answer number two. Well played. But there's a top one. Stuart, can you find it? Glasses. All right, that was very slowly thought about. He's thinking about glasses. It's there. Specs is there as a number five, but you have control of the board. What do you want to do? We want to play. play. Rejoin the family, no conferring. And, of course, the Meadows family, think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal. Now, baby Patrick, mm -hmm. the whole family's really proud of you, aren't they? Uh, just yeah. about. Just, a, just about, or just a bit? <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> But no, it, uh, he's, he's hiding his light under a bushel here, because you are a songwriter, aren't you? Yeah, I've uh, written a song recently that was in Traffic with Catherine Zeta-Jones and Michael Douglas. In the film? He wrote a song that was in the film, Traffic. Respect! Respect, mate! <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. What was the song in the film? What happens in it? Um, it's at the part where um, Michael Douglas's daughter goes to the seediest part of town. Right. And then back to the motel. Sing us a bit, then, Patrick. No. <laughs> No. He's not the singer. He can't sing it. <laughs> OK, he's the yeah, songwriter. So you all say, he's my brother, and you're yeah, all... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we know that's that's fantastic. That's, that's, that's really great. Do you know they're doing a follow-up, and it stars Mike Reed. It's called Triffic. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, what do you think? Telescope. A telescope. <laughs> yes, well played. It's answer number one. Top answer. He finds the top answers as well. And you've got a prize as well, Patrick. What we got? Ooh. Well, Patrick, now you can put the whole family in the picture with this stylish digital camcorder. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Patrick. Yeah. Film is songwriting. <laughs> Film when he's, when he's writing his songs there. Hi, Jenny. Hi. What do you think, then, a device you look through? Window. A window. Not if our window cleaner's been around. <laughs> Steve. Hi, you had a bit of a disaster at a candlelit dinner, didn't you? Yes, yes, Les. I was, uh, I was out with um, my wife, who's now I'm married to. And, uh, well, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, I, I, I sort of looked into her eyes and leant across the table. And next thing I know, my beautiful Michael Jackson afro was, uh, was in flames. <laughs> was it? <laughs> you went, right? so, and did you have loads of hair lacquer in it? <laughs> <laughs> Through the wine bar and everyone was like dressing back, you know, just blue, blue smoke curling out the top of my head. Everybody's going, hey, that's a no smoking table. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into the gents, into the sluice, and sort of like, you know, sort of yeah. got all my hair out. And you went back and said, hi, babe. <laughs> and you've stayed like that ever since? Ever since. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Steve, what do you think? Uh, a camera, Les. A camera! <laughs> Good thinking, but it isn't there. So that's, that's unusual. I thought that might have been there. So, Mel, you're, you're into spoonerisms. I am. Unfortunately, it's been very embarrassing. Yeah. Um, I work in opticians, and I was making an, an appointment for a lady. Right. And I said, um, I'm sorry, but we're fully booked. And uh, what I said was, yeah, yeah, we're fully... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we get the idea. You said that to her? I did. What did she say? Oh, she was... Amazed, and I really didn't realise what she was, you know, so what she was worried about. about. So I said it again. I said it again. You said it again. Got it wrong again. Did, did so she buy any glasses off you? No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What do you think? A device you truck <laughs> A keyhole. A keyhole. Yes. Mr. Survey for keeping thumbs. We get a prize for you as well, Mel. 
Peter. Now you'll have everything you need to know in the palm of your hand with this latest electronic organiser. OK? Ooh. OK, Mel. So, two lives left, one answer to find Pat. Kaleidoscope thing, but the toys. A kaleidoscope. A kaleidoscope. <laughs> two lives have gone, so will the Meadows get a chance to steal and find that missing answer? Patrick, what do you think? Uh, a microscope. All right, Patrick, if microscope is the missing answer, then you have the money in the bank. We're looking for microscope. Yes, well played. You get all the answers without it or going to steal. No answers to reveal. We'll play on round two. Paul, meet Patrick. Top six answers in this second game. We asked 100 people to name something that people raise and lower. Paul. A hand. A hand. You raise your hand and lower your hand. Yes, it's there, but there are two more popular ones. Patrick. Flag. Raise a flag. Here's the second most popular answer. You're going to play or pass? Play. 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 Rejoin, no conferring. The Meadows again. Think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal. All right, Jenny, need your answer. If you're going to think this is the only thing I can say, window. <laughs> window, OK. <laughs> well, you're obsessed answer. with that. That's what you said I last time, isn't it? <laughs> we're looking for a window. Oh. No, so we lose a life on it. Steve. I was thinking windows, blinds. You raise blinds and you lower blinds. OK, you're going to go yeah. with blinds. Not blinds. the windows, but the blinds. We're looking for the blinds. <laughs> so, two lives have gone already. The Meadows might nick in. Mel, got to go carefully. Your hopes. You're going to go with hopes? Yeah. OK, we're hoping to raise and lower our hopes. <laughs> so, a chance for the Meadows to get in and steal the money. Zoe? A bridge. Raise a bridge. Your eyebrows. Your eyebrows, Andy? Tess? Your trousers when you go to the loo. Yeah. Up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Your trousers yeah. up and down. Yeah. Raise and lower them That's to go it. to the loo or, yeah. or to go to bed or what get up, it? whatever. Yeah. Raise and lower your trousers, Paul. A sail, Les. A sail on a boat. Oh, a sail on a yeah. boat. I was th thought it was like the prices in a sail <laughs> you were thinking about there. Stuart? A glass. There's a few answers there. Which one are you going to go with? We're going to go with glass. OK, you raise and a lower glass. a glass. If it's one of the missing answers, you have the money in the bag. We're looking for a glass. <laughs> no, good thinking, but not there. So the plumbers. You get the money that's in the bank anyway. And the missing answers. Number six. Oh, Raise or yeah. lower a lift. Number five. Is a garage door. Answer number four. Oh, is your eyebrows. Especially if you've been to the Roger Moore School of Acting. <laughs> and the top answer is. You raise or lower your voice. Let's play on round three. Jenny Meek Tess. <laughs> Top six answers in this third game. We asked 100 people to name something you associate with The Simpsons. J Tess. Bart. Bart. It's the top answer. Well played. <laughs> well, well played. Well played. Rejoin your family and no conferring. So we come <laughs> to you, Andy. How are you? All right, thank you, Les. You have a dog that you love very much. I do indeed, yeah. Her name's Marmite and she's a Rottweiler. Her name's Marmite? Yes, it is, And yeah. she's a Rottweiler? Yes, it is, yeah. That's a nice little name for a Rottweiler, isn't it? Marmite, yeah. my mate. My mate, Marmite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andy, what do you think? Do you like I The think, Simpsons? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Um, I think uh, Homer. Homer! He wrote the Iliad. <laughs> yeah! Homer's answer number three. <laughs> Twelve people said it, and you get a prize as well. What have we got? No, it's not Double Dutch, Andy. We're sending you and Zoe off for a weekend in Amsterdam. Yeah! Because, Zoe, there might be three of you by, by the oh, time you get there. Yeah, there will be, Because yeah, yeah. Zoe's expecting. Yeah. How, how long are you before you...? Um, I'm just over six months. Fantastic. Months Isn't that now. great? Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Your first baby? It is, yes. So that's great. You'll be able to get a break before you, before you have the baby. That'll be smashing, won't yeah, it? Yeah. Amsterdam. Yeah. All right, what do you think then, Zoe? Um, I think Lisa. Lisa! No, good answer, but not there, so we lose a life on it. So, it could be something or someone associated with The Simpsons. Do. Do. OK, we're looking for do. Yes. Answer number four is do. -o do. A little apostrophe there. No, it's an apostrophe. So, Paul, you're a football player. I uh, used to be. Used to be. A while ago, yeah. 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 Um, used to play um, football years ago, and uh, one incident, I... Uh, what well, contact lenses, obviously. But um, one of them fell out in the first half. I, I managed to catch it and yeah. played, the, played the rest of the game uh, in, it, in my hand. With the contact lenses? the contact lens in my hand, yeah. So I ran in at half time and started trying to put it in my eye again. And the manager said, uh, you know, what are you doing? 
I said, my contact lens came out. Yeah. He said, you know, don't put it in. You had a hell of a game. Take the other one out for the second half. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best, best game you'd ever played. best game you ever played, yeah. So you played a blinder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you say, yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. What do you think, then? I think Marge. Marge. Let's have a look for Marge. No, she isn't there either, so two lives have gone. Tess, you're a bath fanatic. You love getting in the bath. I in do. fact, you do everything in the bath, don't you? I do. Yeah, well, everything. We've got four children, so the only time I get a, you know, a break is to go in the bath. Yeah. So I go in the bathroom. And I you lock... work with kids as well, so... I do, know, yeah. yeah. So it's kids all round, kids as all far round. as I'm concerned. So, so just... I go in the bathroom, lock the door, that's it, fill the tub up, and I take my fags in there, my magazine, my beer, yeah. the whole <laughs> lot, you know, the radio, and I just chill out in the bath. Yeah. As long as it's in the bath, I'll do it. Right. It's and nobody else can get in? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> He gets in after sometimes, if I let him. <laughs> that's about all. I have to make an appointment, Les. You have to make an yeah. appointment? Yeah. So you're flushing meadows. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Tess, what do you think? Yeah, the bus driver. The bus driver, or OK. Auto man. One auto or, man. Or the other, whichever one comes up here. Yeah. Right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Which, she's not fussy. Yeah. If it's auto man or bus driver, she doesn't mind. <laughs> it isn't there anyway. So we go over to the plumbers with the chance to steal. Mel. His hair. His hair. Steve. He's, um... He's, remember, The Simpsons, the so Simpsons. not necessarily Rice. one Rice. person. Nuclear power station, Les. Nuclear power station, Jenny? Moonies. Moonies, Patrick? Uh, beer. Beer? Does he drink a lot of beer, then? <laughs> Homer does. Homer does, doesn't he? Yeah, Pat? Yeah. Uh, I think the funny hair. The funny hair, OK. Mm. If funny hair is one of the three missing answers, then you have the money in the bank. We're looking for funny hair. <laughs> no, it isn't so. You get the money in the bank. The missing answer is number six, yellow skin. Number five is Springfield. And number two on something you associate with The Simpsons is... It's a cartoon. Do. OK, that means at the halfway stage, the plumbers have £126 in the bank and the Meadows have £72. Right, we're going to take a break. In a couple of minutes, we'll be back for big money when one of our families will be playing for £5,000 in either the car or the holiday. We'll see you then. Play double money. Come on out. Come on, Steve. Meet Andy. Hi, Andy. Steve. Top five answers in this first double money game. We asked 100 people to name something that you jump on and ride. Steve. Fairground. A fairground fair ground. ride. Yes, it's there, but there are three more popular ones. Andy. A horse, Les. A horse, Les. Yes, it's a top answer. Right, yeah, right. right, we join No Conferring, so we come to you, Zoe, what do you think? Um, a tram, Les. All right, a, everybody says Les after they say the word. A tram, Les. <laughs> we lose a life on it. So, what do you think, Stuart? Les a bike, Les. Les a bike, Les, OK. <laughs> a bike. <laughs> yes, it's answer number two, well played. <laughs> Saved a life, two answers to find. Paul, can you find one? A bus, Les. A bus. <laughs> yes. So there's one answer to five test. Something that you jump on and ride. What do you think? Your partner. <laughs> <laughs> Tess, I've, I've got to ask you, is this in the bath? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're looking for your partner. No, good thinking, but it isn't there, so the plumbers might get in and steal. They might jump on it. Andy? A uh, scooter. A scooter. <laughs> Three lives have gone. The plumbers get a chance to steal. And if you find the missing answer, you're playing big money, Mel. Scooter. A scooter we looked for. It wasn't there. Steve. Train. Train. Jenny. Motorbike. Motorbike. Patrick. Um, motorbike. Motorbike. Pat. Mm, scooter as well. Um, yeah, scooter. You're going to go for scooter. Well, no, we looked for scooter and it wasn't there. Oh, did you? Oh, sorry. Um, train. Train. OK, if train is the missing answer, you're playing big money. If not, the meadows are back in. It's a train. <laughs> no, it isn't. So, the Meadows get the money back in the game. We're going to the lead. Answer number five is... A skateboard. Let's play on round two. <laughs> now, come on. Come and meet Zoe for round two. Top four answers. 
We asked 100 people to name a popular part of the body that gets tattooed. Mel. Arm. Arm. Top hands out. Chloe, we join Mel Cabrera and we come to you, Pat. What do you think? Um, belly button. The belly button gets yeah, tattooed, does it? Oh, round it. I was going to say, how do you... Round your belly button. No, so we lose a life on it. Patrick, got any tattoos? None. None? Not yet. Don't fancy one? <laughs> no. No? Scared of needles. Scared of needles. <laughs> what do you think, then? Um, buttocks. Bottom. The bottom. Mm. The buttocks. Yes, the bottom is out to number two. Well done. Jenny? Shoulders. Yeah, a lot of people have their yeah. shoulder tattooed. We're looking for a shoulder. Yes, it's answer number three. Steve, there are two lives left. There's one answer to find, and if you find this missing answer, you are playing big money. I think back, Les. OK, Steve, if back is the missing answer, answer number four, then you're going through to big money. We're looking for back. Yes! Well done. Well done, you're playing. Well done. You're both in smashing family, Stuart and the Meadows family from Peterborough. There are no answers to reveal. You're going back to uh, Peterborough with an Amsterdam break and £254. You've had a great time. Yeah, we've had a we've, brilliant time. We've had a great time having you here. Weren't they great, Thanks the Meadows much. family? Well done. Well done, Pat. Are you going to go for the car or do you want to fly at uh, Mauritius on holiday? It's got to be the holiday. The holiday, yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah. Who's going to play? Patrick, Jenny. Patrick and Jenny, join me at the mic, please. Jenny, you're going to play first. Patrick, go and put the headset on and we'll call you back when we're ready for you. I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Great. Good luck. Thank you. 15 seconds on the clock, please. Name something you might find in a field. Grass. Some, something you need when you shave. Razor. Something you might hire. Car. A typical Valentine's present. Uh, flowers. Something you can put on a horse. Uh, saddle. Whoa. Very quickly answered. Well done. Let's see how we did. Something you might find in a field was the first question. You said. Grass, our survey said. 27 said it. It's not a top answer, but it's a good one. Something you need when you shave. You said. Razor, our survey said. Top answer, 32. Something you might hire. You said. A car, our survey said. Yes. Top answer. A typical Valentine's present. You said. Flowers, our survey said. Yeah. You could maybe get the money on your own and just <laughs> wait and see if you can get the, the holiday. Something you can put on a horse, you said. Saddle, our survey said. Yes, yes. 169, well played. You join your family, we'll clear the board and we'll bring Patrick back. Jenny's done really great. She got 169 and found four top answers. So 31 points will get you the £5,000. And if you can find that one missing top answer, then 10 of you are going on holiday to Mauritius, which will be great. Right, I'm going to ask you the same five questions, and you get 20 seconds. If you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear the sound, and I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've had from Jenny, and can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. Name something you might find in a field. Cow. Something you need when you shave. Soap. Something you might hire. Car. Something else. Van. A typical Valentine's present. Chocolate. Something you can put on a horse. Saddle. Another. Uh, nose bag. OK. Well played, Bethany. <laughs> well done. Very, very good. You, you came up with alternative answers, which is the way to play the game. Right. Well, I'll tell you now. We need that top one to flash. And if it does flash, it could be all over and you could be going on that holiday. So the first question was, name something you might find in a field. You said. A cow, what else could it be, do you think? Animal. Animal, any kind sheep. of animal? Sheep. I wonder if it's specifically a cow or whatever, let's see. Or if it's sheep or something else. You said cow. Let's hope it flashes. A flashing cow. You said cow, <laughs> our survey said.
tonight, just 12 questions stand between Chris Tarrant's contestants and a life that could be changed forever. It's classic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire at nine. Well, that was a spectacular win by the plumbers, over 26 grand. And there's more family fortunes after the break.